Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Ecliptic Brewing Belgian Style Hoppy Golden Ale. So, Ecliptic Brewing. Cosmic collaboration with Ecliptic plus Russian River. What can you tell me about this one? It has the longest name, I swear, Belgian style hoppy golden ale. So I believe 2019 was the fifth year Ecliptic has been in... Um, business? Business. <laughs> and so what they did was in the year of 2019, last year, they collaborated with five different breweries to release a different beer within the same year to celebrate their fifth year anniversary. So this is a last installment of their five years, five beers collaboration. Okay. I get it now. So the beer is just called five years, five beers. Yeah, I mean, it's the fifth installment. This one is an 8%, I'm sorry, 8.5% alcohol by Volume. Um, Belgian style hoppy golden ale, which is, uh, that's a lot to take in. Uh, in celebration of our fifth year of passage through this awesome star system we call home, we're teaming up with five esteemed breweries to brew five beers of cosmic significance. Sorry, this is kind of hard to read because it's really, uh, uh, it's really shiny. Uh, space can feel a bit lonely, so here's to making the journey with friends. Brewed with Russian River owners and brewmasters Vinny and Nat uh, Natalie Slurzo. Sorry if I butchered your name there. Slurzo. Uh, Portland, Oregon, Earth. So it's got this awesome space theme going on. I think Ecliptic just has an awesome space theme in general. Um, I don't know too much about these dudes, but... This is my first beer from Ecliptic, so we'll see how it turns out. And it's my first beer from... Russian, Russian River. River. So, yeah. Brewed by Ecliptic Brewing, though. Let's dive in and uh, give it a smell. Oh, yeah. Getting some fruity notes to it, which is expected in Belgian style beers. Oh, wow. It's kind of like a little bit flowery. Maybe a little bit of like honeysuckle or something in there. There is like kind of like a honey sweetness smell to it. Yeah. And then that Belgian yeast kind of really, I can just smell it in every beer that uses it. I can just totally make it out. It's got a very particular kind of scent to it. it. Smells delicate, but yet complex. Very beautiful color. It's got a lot of uh, little yeasties floating around in there. A lot of little sedimentary action things happening. Yeah. And it's definitely a beautiful color though. Very golden, as the name would imply. There's some lacing to it. Yep, definitely hangs around a little bit. A little bit. Like that. Good signs. All good signs. Let's, Let's see if do it. my tummy thinks the same thing. So I'm wow. getting a lot of like the characteristics I would normally get in a blonde ale. Right. Which is surprising because that's one of those beer styles that's kind of like hard for like all the flavors to come out because it's so light. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting that that sort of blonde Belgian, uh, t you know, taste out of it. But then there's this hot presence that just comes out right from left field, and it's like, yo, I'm here too. But that's really nice. It cleans up really well. Very enjoyable. It hides the alcohol really, really yeah. well. I'm getting those fruity notes, a little, a little florally. Yeah, it is florally. I bet this is even better if you, if you, get all that trub in the bottom. Kind of bleh. I do get this warming sensation through my body a little bit. And it might be just the alcohol, but it's only 8.5%, so I mean, it shouldn't be, but I'm definitely getting a warming feeling. Yeah, so I'm on it. That's really good. That's an enjoyable beer. I didn't think I'd enjoy this one that much. Just because it's so, it's so many things. It's Belgian style, hoppy golden ale. So it's like many, many things in one but it actually balances all of those things very well. 
So yeah, ecliptic and Russian river. You guys are uh, they're doing it up. Very impressive. Very nice style. Um, didn't think I would like it as much as I do. But that's it's clean. It's it's complex. I think the complexity is my favorite part about it. Like yeah. you go into it thinking that it's going to be okay. It's a Belgian beer. You know what you're going to get. Um, maybe a little bit of hops on the back end, but like there's so much more intricacies about it that keep me coming back and drinking. Yeah. That's really nice. It's really nice. Yeah, it's like they nailed the style. What it says here is exactly what, what it you tastes get. like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. With all the complexities of each one of these things. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that Belgian style, you're getting the hoppiness, and you're getting that golden ale characteristics that you're looking for in that. And nothing's overpowering each other out. Super balanced. So it's all very balanced. Too. Don't know how they did that, but like that, that must have required a lot of either math or science or both. Yes. <laughs> yep, this one's recommended. I really I really enjoy this. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon for notifications when new videos release. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Hoppy golden. Belgian. De <laughs> what? Belgian hoppy golden ale. Did I get that? Yeah. Sick. That's Oops. such a long thing. Okay, here's this. We even got that rocket ship glass. We got the Hop Invaders shirt. Check this out. How cool is that? <laughs> Appropriate.